Okay. <laughs> Hi, Amber and Katie again. Here we are in Tenley Town. We just walked a couple blocks from the Tenley Town Station down Wisconsin. We wanted to show you our favorite neighborhood pick. And it's called Steak and Eggs. Here we are outside of Steak and Eggs. It is a neighborhood classic. And we're gonna walk you around and in so you can see what goes on inside this famous establishment. You see the beautiful colorful fence? It is, and all of these empty chairs will soon be filled with ravenous diners. Coming inside, we've got nice terrace here with some chairs. Garden style terrace, of course. <laughs> And here we are inside the establishment. Hi guys, welcome to Steak and Eggs. All right, we got Elle here. We wanted to uh, have Elle tell you a little bit more about Steak and Eggs. So Elle is the celebrity name, by the way. <laughs> it's an alias, if you will. Of course. <laughs> so tell us the history. Okay, um, actually back in the early 1900s, the off farmer, and DC was making farm and swamp. You uh, farm DC was farm and swamp, yes. Wow. Yes, DC was actually, uh, they filled it in and rolled, and made DC come up a couple feet so they get rid of the irrigated. So on Swamp would be out of DC. Uh, Sticking it used to be a tile house in 1931. New Year's Eve. Alright. Used to be a tile house back in the day. What's a tile house? Tile house is a diner. A, a diner. Right a diner. on. A franchise. Great. One of the first franchise. But then there used to be a come with steak and egg later on. That was until 1991 when the corporation filed bankruptcy for due to uh, inappropriations of funds. <laughs> kind of like our government. But anyway. Kind of like right now, the recession of the thing. Yeah, it's bad. Poor management. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, so the uh, manager, regional manager, and the uh, one of the cooks here took over in 1991. They were COD, sleeping out of their cars for 12 cents a day, uh, back and forth. Regulars would come in, knock on their window, wake them up, hey, you got customers. And some of the regulars would help set up the silverware, set them up, and start cooking from there. Uh, How long have you worked here, Al? I've been on and off for about, about three years. Cool. Uh, these guys are awesome the owners. They're some of the best people to work for. Are they local? Uh, they're from overseas. Uh, really? Still on. Yes, one of the owners is Rob when he came here. He had nothing. He came to New York, was robbed in New York. Came, wow. came, started working. He was going to be a chicken farmer. That's the story. A chicken, right. Yeah. So he was going to be a chicken farmer, chicken and farm. now he opens steak and eggs. Now, you know, he's a regional manager. He's actually, during that time before they uh, went under, he brought the sales up for steak and egg in D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. But still, they closed. Uh, so they got good staff, and a legendary grill over here where all the magic happens. All right. Our and you guys are open 24 hours? 24 7, 365, Christmas, wow. New Year's, Hanukkah, Rosh Hashanah, everything. Uh, what about Chinese New Year? We're here. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I miss somebody? I'm sorry. Kwanzaa? <laughs> that, that leads with demographic, I'm sorry. Yeah, come on. Oh, Kwanzaa, that's made up. Uh, I'm sorry. I love <laughs> you guys, come but again. it's made up. So, this is my, one of my favorite interests of the waffle line. Okay, steak and eggs is uh, probably my secondary kitchen for AU. All right. Yeah. And the number one spot for inebriated individuals in Washington, D.C. Number one, steak and egg. I don't speak English. <laughs> that's, that's for you. Wait, let me see it again. I don't speak English. Unfortunately, that's for you, the inebriated folks that come in here slurring your words, or in double steaks, over the rare, and eat with your fingers. Okay. You do a good impression. I don't speak English. You must see a lot of it. Yes, I do. Um, so the owners took over with a handshake. And they've been running ever since. Um, slowly been picking up. They were COD on um, in the beginning, so it's cash on delivery. So they had to have the money for hash browns, eggs, everything needed to be there, right there when they when the delivery was made. They finally moved up and elevated themselves into now account status. A uh, few years back, the, the patio was opened up, and it's just been been phenomenal ever since. That's great. Thanks so much for telling us about this place. We Thanks love it. In. And we want to come back. Thank you so much. Thanks.